Each of you came from around the country to prove that you are the best. Woo. Yeah. Let's go. If you want to make it to the end, you won't be able to do it alone because you will be competing in teams. Well, nobody knows what it takes to win this competition better than a master. And for the first time ever, three Ink Master winners are back to coach teams. Wow. Oh, check it out. Oh. Hey. Since you're the masters, we're pushing your skills to the limit. For this tattoo, you must freehand your design directly onto your canvas's skin without a stencil. What? 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 Freehanding tattoos on the skin is insane. To show proportion, usually you have a reference and you stencil it, that way it's perfectly proportioned. To freehand it ups the game so much. Hit right. it. Today I'm looking for these coaches to come out and show us what they do best. All right, just relax. This is more of a battle of wits. We know they have the technical chops. This is to see who can outdo who and who does the best proportion. I'm looking at your guys' hair. I'm going to use yours because yeah. I like those curls. Yeah, curls. The curls, yeah. Yep. Strategically, I want to be a little creative and set myself apart from the rest of the room. DJ's probably going to do another snake. Seeds is just going to do the evil stuff. I'm freehanding a beautiful woman's face with tiger features. No one in the room is going to do anything close to this. Let's do this. All right, measure the bottom. It's a little over two fingers, two and a half fingers. That's why I want to draw it like this so I know, see? A portrait is literally the hardest thing to freehand. This is my chance to show the other team, the haters, the talkers, why I am an ink master. It's a very risky move, but it shows a lot of balls. We don't give a what they do. Oh man, this is gonna be crazy. These are great, amazing artists that have one ink master, so who knows who's gonna win? Solid, man. This is like an open seminar. You have three different styles happening at the same exact time. It's awesome. Four hours to go. Four more hours. I'm super pumped that I get to tattoo, but there's a lot on my shoulders. My whole team depends on me, and I don't know if I'm ready for this coaching stuff. Do you mind if I just point? Yep. These two light areas that you have on the bottom are competing with the value that you have up there, so you gotta... Mm -hmm, yeah. Can, you can always use more black, you know? Also, though, just keep in mind, the top of the apple a lot darker than the bottom of the apple, yeah. which doesn't really make sense with how the light's hitting it, you know? Tell me what to add, don't tell me what I did wrong. I can't take that away now. So they're really okay, like, no, the, no, the no, top no. of the apple's too dark. No, 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 I'm not saying it. I'm not saying that. I'm giving DJ advice, but he's not listening. I know what I'm doing, so let me do it. Look at the uh, on the right hand side, the black and the face piece coming in every single line. No. <laughs> People from the dream team were coming over here being oh, like, oh, he's old and he's a dinosaur. This m is about to what all y'all asses. The other teams can say what they want about Steve, but at the end of the day, they don't know what they're f with. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Machines down. No more ink. Dig it. Damn. We won already. <laughs> Today, the fate of your team was completely in your hands. Let's see how you did. Steve, let's start with you. Very smart play using anatomy as a way to show proportion. Anything that's remotely off, anatomically speaking, is going to scream lack of proportion. That hand out in front of the face and the glasses, the pipe, the hand holding it, keep proportion and tell exactly what's going on. It really played well. Thank you so much. It was awesome watching him draw this. Did you guys help him do all those lines that don't line up? Are you talking? Because we were talking. On the glasses, there's lines that didn't line up. On the cuff, there's lines that overlap, underlap. In the ear, there's lines that go right straight through it. If somebody could draw a portrait on skin and knock it out like that, I'm listening. Until I see that, shh. Josh talks a big talk, but I haven't seen it backed up yet. I don't like his cockiness. He's done nothing. What are you cocky over? DJ. I love the tattoo, man. I think it's killer. Illustration is amazing. The detail you got in the hand is as good as anybody else could have done tracing it off the photo. As far as hitting the proportion, the hand and the apple looks very nice, very believable. I wish you just did the hand and the apple. The 
snake, the jaw is much thicker than your piece of body where it swoops down this way. I just drew that off the head. It's art. It's objective at a certain point. As long as it looks believable, the proportion looks right to me. Thanks. DJ's tattoo is flawless, but I feel like Steve had a better understanding of what proportion meant. The old man has experience, and he's showing it right now. Anthony. It's a beautiful tattoo. The quality, the craftsmanship, it has great value in shading. But the fact that you did a creature that doesn't exist, it's very hard to gauge proportion. I think a tiger lady exists in the same realm as an old man with horns. This is the tone of how this is going to go. Who really out tricks who? In the outside world, this tattoo is amazing. This flat out feels horrible. It's time to pick a winner. Who had the best tattoo of the day? Playing smart and doing realistic proportions that everybody can see from across the room and know that it looks right was the way to hit the challenge. Proportion next to proportion. Your hand and apple for me hit it. His eyes next to his glasses, next to his nose, next to his mouth, next to his hand, next to his pipe, hit it. The old man out thunk him. Steve takes it. The best tattoo of the day goes to Steve. Yeah! yeah. yeah. All right! Yeah, boy. Today, all of you must step aside and trust your coaches completely. Just trust me, right? Oh, yeah. For this flash challenge, coaches, you will be tattooing. I'm ready. Oh, boy. Steve has already won a head-to-head -head face off against myself and DJ. I need to do everything I can to win this challenge. This week, we're testing Adaptability. Adaptability is in every tattoo. On different parts of the body, the skin is different. You have to adapt to it. You have to run your machine differently. You have to approach the design differently. Coaches, today you must tattoo an incredibly difficult part of the body. Oh, no. The under chin. Oh, my god. The skin under your chin is really delicate. It's hard to pull lines on, get solid saturation. It's hard to even lay out a design under there. I'm glad that my canvas only has one chin. And I feel I'm after free on this. I'm trying to lay a stencil nice and flat and even. It's going all over the place. It's sloppy. I'm going to have to adapt to simplify my design, and hopefully it looks good on this really weird, hangy skin. I have to freehand it. Freehand man, sir. So he's not willing to give the canvas the tattoo the canvas wants. Right. I can hear you, douchebag. Sometimes it's your canvas tattoo. Listen, you keep running middle of the road. I didn't know second was the middle of the road. Be second at the finale, too, Siri got you. Someone gets real grumpy when people start talking to him. You're not talking to me, you're talking about me. It's difference, bro. <laughs> see what the hell I'm doing. Everything's swelling up. I can't see what I'm doing. I just have to go off of instinct and follow my gut and my intuition. Oh, that's my neck. <laughs> if I drop the ball, my team does not get the advantage. And I've pretty much proven to these other coaches that I can't compete with them going into the master faceoff. Have time, what do you think about a tiny, like, light gray shade or no outside? light gray anything on the neck that will not hold? I mean, light gray wash. Listen, you gotta get this done, bro. Let it rock, let him do his thing, huh? Steve, if you came off the black with this and dipped it in this, it would look dope. A dope blend, dude. I don't, I got this much. I'm not blending, you know what I'm saying? Jeremy, it's his day, he's tattooing. Like, if he doesn't take our input, then he's not taking it. This is your final hour. Maybe just pepper in just a little shading off those blacks up, give a little skin just to fill that gap just a tiny bit. Get through that, get it solid, get it clean as mm -hmm. Oh, that sucks. I'm dropping my machine. It hit the tip. I just gotta rewrap it and everything. I haven't dropped my machine in like 10 years. I'm not sure why I'm nervous right now, but people behind you telling you different things to do, it kind of gets in your head. You want to try like that bloodberry color, which is like a deep purpley red, it's real, real pretty. Josh might be a little bit too hands-on at the moment. No time. Just gonna go with those ones? Yeah. Cool, no worries. Josh needs to realize that this skull pick is everything to me. I've been on the line the last three times, so I'm really hoping he leaves DJ alone. So the only other thing I was thinking, DJ, is like with your spacing that you have here. All right, Josh. I'm done. I'm done, I'm done. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, 
One, that's it, machine's down, time is up. No more ink. Holy <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right, coaches, it is time to critique your work. Let's start with Steve. It's a tough tattoo. You made a smart choice just doing the skull and the roses. You've got a lot of really solid, dense black in that soft skin, and then you also contrast it with the really bright red and the roses. It looks symmetrical, and I like that you went down and covered the whole throat. You did a killer job. Thank you so much. Ah, uh, Steve's tattoo sucks. The overall design is just ugly, man. Thanks, bro. Ciao. DJ. I like the strength that you have in the simplicity. It was a super tough area, especially a triangle. That was why I was so fumbled up. It happens, all tattooers falter. But how you get back up from the slip, that is what I'm talking about. You made a really strong, clean outline. You really toned back the eye. You really went with a simple color palette. Simplifying the design, great example of adaptability, especially for that spot. Thanks. Anthony. The smoothness and the quality of the black and gray, that reminds us why you're sitting as a coach. Beautiful side, beautiful entryway to the piece in the center, beautiful exit, and the precision of that beat dropping down to a perfectly sharp point dead center. Everything's dark and breathable. This tattoo's absolutely gorgeous, but I don't think it met the challenge. He dodged the one place that you had to tattoo, the under chin. Judges, it is time to determine the winner of this flash challenge. As far as adaptability goes today, I really like what DJ did and the way that he went along the jawline, brought this design so it's readable from a mile away. My vote is for DJ. Anthony, to me, went above and beyond. Doing big black and gray, we always see people do it too dark where they lose the contrast or they lose the shape. Anthony's figure is very dynamic. Vote for Anthony. We have one vote for Anthony, one vote for DJ. Chris? Today, Anthony. The judges have decided the winner of today's Flash Challenge is Anthony. Thank you, guys. This feels amazing. I don't have as much experience as these other coaches. I pretty much smashed them. That's what I needed. For this Flash Challenge, once again, coaches, you will be tattooing. All right, bro. This week, we're testing technical application. Technical application is pretty much how you put the ink into the skin. Today, you must create a micro-realistic insect tattoo. Micro-realistic insect. <laughs> In an area no bigger than two inches by two inches, it will take the application skills of a master to flawlessly apply every microscopic detail. This is one of the things I do at home. I haven't won a single master face-off. Anthony's won one, Steve's won one. It's my time to show up on this tattoo and beat both of them out. This is what I do, I do a lot of mini stuff. I wanna show like a cool shadow and yeah. make it look like you can pull that little bug off. So the first thing I'm gonna do is try to give you a praying mantis. It has to be like two inches, like everything size. has to be two inches, Damn. bro, yeah. Two inches might be too small for a praying mantis. Pretty mantis yeah. are big to make it that small. Right. Yeah. You lose everything. Steve and I, we don't see eye to eye all the time. Yeah, I've been getting shut down by the guy for ideas over and over again, but we're down the two people on Team Steve. If Steve doesn't win this, it could be down to one. Look at this. It's a fly, man. <laughs> like, that's really cool. And like, I'm down, I want you guys to win, you know what I mean? So like, I'm like, I don't really care, honestly. I'm really trying to give you what you want. You know what? Oh, the fly? Yeah. Okay. Jeremy and I are still on a little weird spot. He has a lot of ideas. Outside of here, they work great. But in here, it'll just send you to the bottom. We gotta find a way to use some of his ideas, ignore everything else, and then we can move forward. All right, coach, you tell me today. Yeah, but that thing is small. I finally get to tattoo. Another subject matter I have not done before. I don't do micro tattoos. You can just do a light fade really, really light. Just let it blend out. Like that? Okay. One hour left. It's more like a cool three quarter with a shadow under it. I want a good shine in it. It's awesome. Really, really cool. You got huge contrast, nice deep black. Are you gonna do more with with the eye here? Like more yeah, shading I'm on the eye? Yeah, I'm definitely gonna do okay. more shading on the eye. I just wanted to get the detail in first, you know? Uh -huh. I know Steve can pull out a win. Good looking out. He's been the underdog, I think, when it comes to the coaches. You know, he's old school. He's been tattooing for a long time, but he's shown that he can beat them on any day. 
It needs black off the tip. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah. No matter how hard Steve and Anthony work today, DJ is the king of micro-realism, and no one can touch that. I love it, dude. That is awesome. Amazing, man. You got a lot of detail in there. Definitely between you and DJ. Check out your bug. What? Oh, that's dope. Hopefully we win this one. Because if we do, everybody's Yeah. All right, brother, take a look, man. This is really cool. There's a lot of detail in that. I love it. Killed it, bro. Well, hopefully, bro. I love it. Let's do that again. Ready? <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. Just do it. Just do it. High five. Hi, bro. Jesus Christ. <laughs> the Motley crew that is my team. All right, guys, it is time to critique your work. Anthony, let's start with you. We set out to do a clean tattoo, and we're able to deliver that. The application in this tattoo is really smooth. There's no redness. There's no trauma. Everything's deliberate. More than anything, it looks like a believable insect. The segments are really defined. It's tiny, but the details are big enough to stay clear. The drop shadow is really nice under the translucent wings. So you still get the effect of these wings being detailed, yet they give off this little bit of shadow, which you got perfectly. Thanks. My biggest fear right now is DJ's Beetle didn't allow the opportunity to have some of the extra textures that Anthony was able to put in between the fur and the translucence of the wings. Killed it. DJ. Really like it, man. It's super tight, super clean. You went with a realistic take on this thing. It looks really slick. The stuff you put on the back of the beetle shell has a really great look to it. It looks like you could drag your finger over it, feel the texture, how you juxtapose the gray to the black to the gray to the black so that you can see the bending turns is a real feather in your cap. It really does have a three-dimensional look. It looks like it could be actually sitting on her leg. Thanks, guys. Might be throwing a bunch of gold pots at me. Steve. I really like this tattoo, and I really like how it somehow looks like your style in there. It looks evil. It has a little evil face to it. Getting away from the mantis was the best choice. And this thing is every bit of detail. This magnified take on this thing is almost ominous. I mean, it really suits your style, but then at the same time, every leg, every line, every little thing on this thing is flawless. Thanks. I'm feeling a little bit better about Steve. He showed me some respect, and that goes a long way to me. I respect him a little bit more. Guys, we need to determine a winner. I think outright DJ's looks the most like a tattoo. It looks like you could pick it up, chuck it, and the thing will just be solid. Steve's is more of like a technical drawing. It's like a science of, drawing. A yeah. science drawing of a blown up fly. I'm torn between Steve and DJ. I mean, Anthony put in multiple textures. Those translucent wings give that really soft drop shadow. Plus the connection of every single leg is really well detailed. I'm leaning towards Anthony. I'm gonna go with Anthony. The judges have decided the winner of today's Splash Challenge is Anthony. Nice. Thank you, guys. Are you kidding me? I can't believe Anthony beat me. I cannot win. <laughs>